In the wake of several attacks involving dogs in Toronto, the city is taking steps to make sure that everyone is properly informed about rules around keeping your neighbours and your pets safe. Jasmine Herzog-Evans with Toronto Animal Services is leading an information campaign this afternoon at Woodbine Beach off-leash dog run and she joins us now live. Jasmine, thanks so much for being here. Um, you'd think most people who are dog owners know the rules and parameters they've got to navigate when taking their pet out in public. So what prompted you, what prompted the city to launch this campaign? Uh, good afternoon, Beatrice. Uh, part of the reason that we're doing this campaign is the recent increase in numbers that have resulted in dangerous acts where either people or other animals have gotten hurt. Um, why it is that people are not complying, I think, is heavily rooted in people's behavior and their overestimation of their pets. Um, one of the campaign's content that we're, dealing, uh, that we're rolling out right now is good dogs have bad days. And that is because your dog Nobody hopes that their dog will ever engage in a dangerous act until it happens. And unfortunately, those dangerous acts tend to have severe impact on the people whose lives have been affected. So all we're simply asking people to do is please be responsible pet owners, keep your dog on a leash, keep it under control, and have everybody just safely enjoy our public spaces. Yeah, good dogs have bad days, just like good people have bad days. Give us a sense of, I guess, the numbers, Jasmine, because you're, you're talking about an increase in incidents. So what are you seeing? So as of last year, we've actually seen a 39% increase in dangerous acts involving people and a 19% increase in dangerous acts involving animal to animal. And that's a marked increase when we look at all the years prior that has caused us to have real, to take real pause and try to really reach out to owners out there and say, please let us all enjoy the, safe, the space safely. Um, we're animal services, we try our best, we are complaint based, we can't be everywhere all the time, so we're hoping that everybody will do their park so that we do their part so that we can safely enjoy um, our public spaces when you talk about leashes they come in different forms is there a certain leash that needs to be on the animal as they're out and about in the city and I know some people use those those buzzers that they've got in their hand while their pet hopefully compliant walks beside them so the bylaw says that every animal shall be on a leash that is at least two meters in length, meaning it can't be any longer than that. And a person must be on the other end of that leash at all times to ensure that your animal is always under control. Oftentimes we see people clip, the, clip their leash on their dog and their dog's just walking around dragging their leash. I'm sorry, your dog is still off leash. In order to be complying with the bylaw, leash, leash no greater than two meters attached to the dog and a person safely on the other side controlling that animal. All right, Jasmine Herzog Evans with Toronto Animal Services. Thank you so much for this little piece of information here on CP24. Yeah, absolutely. And if I could just add is just make sure your yards are safe to prevent escape mm. as well. For sure. Absolutely. Thanks so much for this, Jasmine.